Hello everybody, welcome back or welcome to our digital China. Today we're going to be unboxing and looking into a quilling kit. I really wanted a quilling kit and I have it today to show you. So, I clearly have looked into it because I couldn't wait. Obviously, I have looked into it. <laughs> so, I just wanted to show you what is in here. Its container is extremely cool and I will show you that. So here you can open it. It's like a good container. I like the color purple. So if you didn't know what quilling is, it's the art of paper. So here are just like a experiment. I have to fix it. Wait, give me a sec. There you go. It's a, you know what, it's fine. I didn't glue it. It's the art of paper. The art of folding paper and like rolling it, you know, that's what quilling is. And it's super pretty and just super satisfying to make. You can put it on cards, you can make ornaments for a Christmas tree or anything really. You can, you, you can do it. It's just with strips of paper, colored strips of paper or even white strips of paper. Okay. So let's get into the actual thing. Let's get into it. So here we have some good containers. As you can see, I'm already using it for some scraps. So here we have, uh, yeah, the divot. A place where you can put the projects which you've made, but you really don't want to put it anywhere on a card or anything and you just want to make it and put it there. You can put it here, 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 or here. Like four compartments. Never mind, five. Very nice. Here, though, we have the tools. I'm no expert. So I'm just going to be telling you what I know. So if you're an expert, please tell me down below any tips you have so I can do a better cooling kit usage. Okay, so here we have a glue. It's Elmer's Craft Bond Precision Tip Glue Pen. It's a glue pen, which is really convenient. And if I open it, you can see, oh my God, it's already coming out. I'm not even to, like squeezing it. But that's amazing for the, um, tiny it's like area that you need to put glue on I'm gonna put that to the side or even just here here we have um, a needle a dull needle like, I really don't know the usage but <laughs> if you do know how to quill quilling quill then tell me what it is. This I know. Yay, I'm smart. So here it's like, like scrap. Uh, here it's a little, I think a metal, and it has a little slit in it. Where you slide the paper in. I cannot see this. Uh, there you go. So when you slide it in, you, you see it's in there. And now you can just spin, 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 spin until you get something like that. This is not what I'm using right now. And the thing is, it's super good material. It's like non-slip, like, and your fingers will grip on it because, look, when I put it on here, it's like, it will move the whole table. You can literally see it shaking because I'm trying so hard to get it to move, but it's super non-slip. I give you one to this touch, it's non-slip. See? Amazing. Here's something I have a guess on what it is for. It has a protective tip because it's tweezers which are sharp. Sharpie, sharp, sharp. And so here's my guess. You take your project, okay? So when you take it, when you're you take it and where you want to put the glue you just kind of hold it and so that you don't get gluey fingers 
and then you can put the glue on that's my guess on what it's supposed to be used for otherwise i don't know what it, the these twee, twee, tweezers are supposed to be used for but i really like them my guess is so that your fingers don't get glued and make the paper dirty or anything there super pretty color i love the color purple and here we have a circle sizer so in the instructions it will say size 0 size 1 size 2 3 4 5 and 6 so there's an actual 0 <laughs> 0 is the biggest one two smaller no one smaller two smaller three four five six all gradually getting smaller so in the instructions it'll say which one you're supposed to use it for so, for example, if I take this one, let me just wrap it up a bit just so you can see. I didn't glue any of it, but that's cool, it's okay. Okay, I got it. So, this will size it. So you got us in size number one, you put it in there, and it's a sizer. And when you take it out, come on, you can grab it, and look at the magic. And you pinch this part, and you get like a petal shape. Not the best, but you, you get the gist of it, what this is supposed to be used for. Super nice. So here are the things on the top compartment. So let's close that. And here's the cool part. I turn it and we have another compartment with another lid. Isn't that cool? Or is it just me? It's cool for me, okay. And here we have a booklet. And let me just take a moment to say thank you to my teacher because she gave this to me. And I really love it. The sweetest human in this whole entire world. I love her. The dearest heart. So pretty. She's also super nice. I love her. Mm -hmm. Just needed to say thanks to her. So, these instructions, they're in English. And it tells you all the things you can make. Baby feet, dragonfly, flower, butterfly, daisy tips and tricks, quilling scrolls, quilling shapes, which is super cool. As I told you, you can make a different shapes. Here are all the shapes. And uh, the sizers here, you can see what it's used for and stuff. Here it tells you more basics and there is that. The instructions, I'm just gonna put it here. I, here, I did not open this particularly. I don't know what it said. I think it is like cards, so let's see this. To make cards or something. First of all, why so many layers? supposed to be so that something I don't know I know that but why is there this extra layer I don't know we have a card oh oh that's cool so here I think it's supposed to be like the filling stuff here's a card just to write in I suppose I did not open that, so you saw my general, general reaction. 
my genuine reaction. Let's pack that up so I don't lose anything which is in it. Neatly pack it. Here, that's not supposed to be in the kit. We have the actual quilling paper. I'm not gonna open this one, even though I did before, but I packed it up. Leave it. I have the paper here. So, I have loose papers, which just came off because they're not really attached to the scrolls. So we have, they're pretty thin. So we have pink, and let me just take the loose ones out. I have orange and pink loose ones. And let's see here. So here is the array of colors. So we have black, we have the uh, purple, blue, blue, green, yellow, orange, pink. All of these colors, so pretty. And here we also have a couple colors, a couple colors in here. But this is the quilling paper. So in this, I can show you it actually says quilling paper. So this is quilling paper, that's exactly what you call it. And then we have the looser ones, which make it look messy, but it really is not. It's as organized as I can make it. And when you package it all, it fits perfectly in this container. And the instructions and everything, and you can close it. Okay, so I have another thing here so here I have another sizer which is super nice it comes with another one of the tools I have in here just a mini version see it has the same slit and this one have a slit this one has a slit too this one is not non-slip this one's non-slip in the kit not in the kit so I still like this if you want to do it with a friend or if you want to teach somebody at the same time. And so I'm going to put this in here because, I mean, I'm just going to use it for the same things. So here, this is pretty cool. So it's literally foam. Like, not really foam, it's just memory foam. That's nice. So here is the more sizes. I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna show you. Oh, sorry for the noise. Here, oh wow, pretty good sizes. And it's even the tiniest. And these are all the sizes. And it's super nice. This part, I have no idea why that's there. Maybe because you can put your project here while you're doing the other thing so it doesn't go somewhere else. Oh, also, I forgot to tell you, here there's measurements, centimeter and inches, so, that is useful. Here, with this kit, there was also, it's not really, this one's not really a kit, because it doesn't give you everything. So, this one also has instructions, but this one is in French and English. And here's all the shapes, once again, which I can show you. Mm -hmm. so many shapes you can have and uh, this one has no colors so I much prefer these instructions because in this which is more colorful but still I like this and I will be reading it so that I don't mess up anything and I improve so here are the two more like one kit but you know, let's just call them two. Two kits which I got from my teacher. I love my teacher very dearly and I want to say thanks to her. And you'll be seeing a lot of quilling stuff. I hope. And I'll see you next time.